What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about lineup construction in MLB The Show 21. I had this question in my comment section a little while back, and I just wanted to make a video talking about it because I think, honestly, it can help you out quite a bit if you had some questions or if you're curious about how I set up my lineup. And there's also one very, very important stat that you want to look at when you're trying to decide, like, which cards you should be putting into your lineup, and I think this is something that everyone should take a look at so let's go ahead and go into manage squad here so we got our fastest player and this player is my creative player he has 99 speed i use him with the hawk and i have a video on how that you can use them at catcher with the hawk that got uploaded to the channel pretty recently so be sure to check that out so you don't have to use the bronze catcher now you can actually use the diamond catcher i have him at the top because he is the fastest he is a switch hitter i have mike trout here because to me mike trout feels like my best hitter and i like to put him whoever i have like i feel like is the best hitter on a particular roster i like to bat them in the two spot because they get more at bats and i just like having them right there chipper jones i have in the three spot and i have david ortiz backing him up so what's really nice about that is chipper jones is incredible against lefties and david ortiz is inc incredible against righties so they kind of back each other up in that spot they're very very good to stack like this like if you do get to the chipper jones and the ortiz make sure you stack them like this ronald acuna i have in the fifth spot because he's just unbelievably glitchy for me and i like to have him in the fifth spot uh, he's just insane soriano i have in the sixth spot and this is the one spot on my order you'll also see where two righties bat in a row you always want to switch up your righties and your lefties as much as possible go like right left right left right left right left or right switch or whatever but you don't want to stack like you definitely don't want to stack multiple lefties in a row that's a recipe for a disaster because they're going to bring somebody in from the bullpen and you just don't want to do that um you want to avoid stacking cards as much as you can for me hitting with righties isn't that bad even right on right so i don't mind stacking them together like that but i just want to make a point like you do not want to stack like multiple of the same handedness together that's not good in left i have one soto and you're probably saying to yourself why do you have one soto in left he's just a live series card well he's unbelievable in this game and he also was right at the top of that stat threshold that i had that i'm going to show you in a second that you really need to pay, pay attention to and i swear if you go through the cards that you have the cards that you use you can think about where you use them too i mean if you've used them a bunch on legend compared to all-star there's going to be a difference just by the the uh the degree of difficulty that you're playing on on, but this is an important stat to go after now in the a spot i always like to have a good defender who's really fast this is the one spot in the lineup where i feel like i can have a good defender that's really fast because the pitcher hits after them and what happens when the pitcher hits after them like if there's two outs if there's two outs right and you're about to face the eighth hitter with the pitcher coming up next like especially early in the game later in the game you know maybe let's say you're up 10 runs or something and you know they're going to pinch hit for the pitcher and take them out that's a different story but early in the game you should never and i repeat never pitch to a hitter that has you no know, never never ever pitch to the hitter with two outs in the eighth spot you know what i'm saying so fernando tatis is up and it's the second inning and there's two outs and glavin's on deck you never pitch to him you walk him every single time to face the pitcher because you do not want to give up a solo home run you don't ever need to pitch that player so to combat that what we do is we put a player here with 96 speed so that when we are up with the pitcher the pitcher can bunt them over or they have a lot of speed to steal the base like you just always put like a really really fast guy in the spot he also has amazing defense and look how he's playing up today he's playing up to 73 and he's playing up to 97 he's really really solid i like using him a lot so you want to see what that stat is that i was talking about here's the stat right so you go over to advanced stats and wands has gone up a little bit but it's at bats for home runs at bats for home runs right in the middle of the screen kind of a little bit below the advanced stats that is the the main stat i always want to see in this game to decide whether i should be playing a player in my lineup or not at bats for home runs that's the key and you want that at bats to home per home runs to be at like five if you have a player that's at five or pretty close to five either if you have them below five you're just unbelievably elite with the card like you're a plus of the card if they're around five i'd say that's like an a a little bit less like that's still really really good 
Um, so he is actually, he's dipped a little bit to eight, but he is a glitch too. This card, it's not playing up today, but this card generally plays up at like 110, 110 power versus right. You know, 110 contact, 110 power versus right, which is absolutely insane. And he's got good contact and vision. His defense is not very good. His defense is not very good. That's the one risk with playing him, but man, he's amazing. And look at all these quirks that he has too. These live series cards, once they get paralleled, are very, very good. He has Road Warrior. He has Day Player. He has First. First pitch hitter he is unfaced he is dead red he is breaking ball hitter he has rally monkey and he has fighter he has everything he is an amazing swing this is a super super good card is his defense good it's not i mean it's not good but at all in left but it's not terrible either i mean if there's one spot besides like first base or something that you're gonna have a bad defender left field can be that spot too let's look at ronald acuna's stats for me his at bats for home run is 6.5. That's pretty dang solid. He's been on a lot of different difficulties as well. I've gotten a lot of at bats with him. 6.5 is very, very solid. And again, he just has every single quirk it feels like too. He, I, I don't know. He's got home body. He's got day player. He's got first pitch hitter. He's got unfazed, and he's got breaking ball hitter. He's fantastic. He has excellent defense, excellent speed. He's got 99 arm with 94 speed, 96, 100 on the power, 88, 97 on the contact. It's fantastic. Mike Trout, his advanced stats, 5.9 at-bats per home run. He's almost hitting a home run every single game. Let's just say you get four at-bats in a game. He's almost hitting a home run every single game. He's very, very, very solid, obviously, but he's got the stats with that at-bats per home run to back it up. Chipper Jones, he's at an 8.4, so that's not that great, honestly. I mean, it's not terrible, though. It's not terrible, but it's not that great. He's played on a lot of difficulty as well. I mean, some of these games on Legend, my hitting really went down. But I, I will still take the 8.4 because he's that solid. But it is something to keep an eye on. And let's take a look at Fernando Tatis Jr., 7.73. Three, or all we need him to do is play a defense and he plays fantastic defense but he's also he, his at bats for home run is 7.3 which is solid like i will take that out of my defensive guy that's very very good soriano he's at 10 so he's all the way up to 10 that's not very good he's had a lot of at bats he's been on the team but i'm just noticing that now like he needs to hit some more home runs it's not like i'm going to take him out because he's so good defensively but that is a, that's a very high number. I think that's the highest one that we've seen so far. Let's see what Ortiz is at. He's at 7.3. Solid, respectable as we go across a lot of different game modes. But uh, 7.3 is very, very solid. I wonder what my cap is, too. He's at 9.667, which is not that great. But at the same time, like, there have been um, some times. I don't know. When I play him with the Hawk, he's been on fire lately. I, I went back to the Bobby Dalback swing. He's been amazing. But let me show you this card right here, all right? Jackie Robinson, 23.7 or 23.375. So that's horrible. That's why I had to take Jackie out of my lineup because he's only hitting a home run at a 23 clip. Like we saw the rest of them there. And the rest of them are okay compared to this. I mean, 23 at bats for home runs, like every five games he hits one home run. That's just not good enough. And that's really what we're looking for at the end of the day. You know, can we get like one home run per game out of our players? That's not very good. Let's look at Santa Anders. Oof. Look at Santa Anders, 3.7. He was ending at a 3.7, a lot of event play for Santa Ander. He was at a 3.7. That's ridiculous. J Ram, who I feel is like one of the glitchiest cards in the game, he was at a he's at a 3.6. 3.6. That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Ernie Banks, he's at a 6.8. So I mean that's really solid. You know, 6.8. He's been doing a lot of pinch hitting for us lately. Uh, let's see what Steve Finley is at. His has got to be down. He's still like an 8.4. So that's why I'm not too upset with like the Soriano at the 10 because it's not even close to Jackie at the 23. And that's what you really need to look for in your lineup as well. You know, go left and right as much as you can. Put the, the hitters that are really getting that a, a B per, uh, you know, that at bats for home run, you can really stack them like that. And I think that's what I did originally when I put this together. It's, it's changed a little bit. But it's still been very, very solid. So I just wanted to make this video talking about lineup construction today. And you need to pay attention to that stat. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you're having a great day. Looking forward to these Team Affinity cards Season 2 that's coming out soon. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.